Hey there, welcome back to another Voltage Modular tutorial, and in today's video we're going to be breaking down a cool sci-fi sound effects patch using the new FM bundle and the fixed frequency mode. Before we get into the video, be sure to subscribe down below for more Voltage Modular tutorials, and if you have a suggestion for a future video, let us know down in the comments. Here we have the final patch we'll be breaking down today, which is utilizing the FM station and EG station, and then a handful of other modules to create this cool sci-fi impact futuristic engine sound effect, I guess. Let's take a listen to how it sounds. If you want to grab this patch for yourself to tweak it or try it out, you can find the link for the patch down in the description below. I think it's fair to say that when we think of FM synthesis, we tend to think of more classic sounds like the electronic keys or the awesomely terrible Danger Zone bass or some of the screechy aggressive leads and wobble sounds of modern music. In the classic form of FM, we have something like this, which is based around a carrier and modulator relationship with fixed ratios. Now, what this means is we get things that make sense together and create more harmonic tones. So here we just have a classic FM patch. Once you have your operators and your ratios figured out, you can then change the algorithm or the way that these carriers and modulators are related to each other, and even with the same settings, we could get a totally different result. What's cool about FM Station is it allows us to go beyond this and explore the idea of utilizing fixed frequency operators and even combine ratio and fixed frequency modes to create a whole new set of sounds. The FM station itself is pretty straightforward. I've got some pitch coming in here, and then I've got the EG station running a couple things like the frequency amplitude and the feedback amplitude and fine controls over the fourth operator. Within the FM station, I've got operator 2, 3, and 4 set to fixed frequency mode, while operator 1 remains in ratio mode. This way, I could play different keys in different octaves to get a variety of different sounds from this exact same patch. For some added interest here, I've also used an envelope generator feeding through an amplifier which goes into the frequency mod input here, which is turned all the way up, and I've got this amplifier being modified by velocity. So how hard I press the key on my controller will actually determine how much of that big initial pitch drop we get to the sound. The real magic of this patch is coming down here from the EG station, which is actually being used to create some extra modulation with some of these effect modules. What's also nice about the EG station here is that it features a normal connection system, so we don't have to wire up the gate input of each of these in order to utilize it, which in cases like this would be pretty tedious. Instead, the connections are normal to the gate signal up here, so the only time you actually need to use the gate input is if you want to override it and use some other source as a gate rather than the standard I.O. panel gate. If we take a look down here in the bottom half of the EG station, I've actually sent out this fifth envelope here, and this is being sent to the feedback of the chorus. This sixth one is controlling a lot of operator four, but also controlling the CV amount of the distortion. So that way I can shape every layer and part of this sound with different envelopes very quickly, which is incredibly powerful. The other cool thing is EG station is very fast and visual to tweak. So we could just change a couple of these settings, maybe do something like this, and then we could get a totally different sound than what we had before. Let's try tweaking this once more and see what we get with maybe some longer attack times and a couple other settings, maybe a high sustain here, I don't know, and go. As you can probably tell, this is a really easy way to hop into a sound design session and only tweak a handful of parameters to quickly get a bunch of different one shots and sound effects. You can even tweak parameters in real time to get some really interesting and weird modulations. Let's try that out by going in here and just moving the frequency around as we play some different notes. So this is a really fun way to get creative and explore a bunch of new sonic textures and interesting sci-fi-ish one-shots very quickly with just tweaking a handful of parameters and moving some cables around. And that wraps everything up for this video. For more information on the new FM bundle or to try it out for yourself today, you can head over to the Cherry Audio store. 